Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Moisha bringing you some more gameplay. I had to use my Eagles at least one time. Uh, the new season starting off. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I just basically had to find out if they're any good uh, because there's a team that I might be taking in a franchise mode. I'm going to make a video letting you guys pick my team basically in franchise mode coming up here. Uh, but I tried out a couple teams. I tried out the Eagles, the Chargers, the Titans, teams that I typically like. Uh, but I got to use my birds at least once uh, to see how they are uh, in the game. Uh, but, you know, I'm just an Eagles fan. I just want to kind of simulate the experience. I'm waiting on the NFL season to start. First play, it's not starting off too good, though. LeGarrette Blunt not getting the job done. So I decided to switch it up, get a little speed out there. I got uh, Danell Pumphrey. Uh, he's not really getting it done either. Uh, I'm not really feeling these running backs or this offensive line right now. So I got to switch it up on a third and long. I go with one of my favorite passing plays. Trey Burton, I am feeling, man. This is one of my favorite tight ends in this entire game. It almost takes it to the house. Who knows if he could have just made a guy miss or had a little bit more wheels. Uh, but there we got our look at Alshon Jeffrey, the big addition. I don't know how much I throw to him in this game, uh, but either way, he's just definitely a really good player. So we're going to keep trying to run the ball. It hasn't worked out too good. I got my boy Sproles out there because he has a really high agility. Uh, not the fastest guy. He's not getting it done for me. None of these running backs. I'm switching it up, and none of them are really getting it done for me. I'm not switching them up because I'm trying them out as much as I just kind of want to do it like the real Eagles do it. They're going to be switching them running backs. I'm trying to simulate that experience. Uh, next play here, I kind of see some opportunity out there. So I, I motion out uh, one of my slower backs in LeGarrette Blunt and catches it, almost gets the first. Now I've got to pound it with him. You know what I'm saying? That's his job. He hasn't had much of a, much success in anything. None of my running backs have. But uh, he's going to get them a couple of inches you need. That's, that's what type of running back he is. He's one of the highest trucks in the game. Uh, absolute beast. Uh, so we're still trying to pound this rocker. That's what I like to do. I like to run the ball. Uh, first and 10. Give it to my boy LeGarrette Blunt. He's getting bitched. I don't <laughs> I don't understand. Like, this dude is such a monster. He shouldn't be getting, like, womped like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you can get him tackled or whatever, but he should be fighting for yards. So here we go, second and five. I'm looking for the A route, but that user is just sitting on it. I wait for him to leave that tight end or that sl fullback slash tight end, and I dump it down. So we get a couple yards. Third and one, once again, I got my pounders out there, and he just, hell of a user's blitz. Just gets through, uh, gets me. Got to go for the field goal. That, that sucked, man. I got to be honest. That really shut me down. I do really time that well uh, and knew exactly what I was doing. So fourth and five, I got to kick that field goal. You know I'm going to hit it, though. Uh, not the best kicker on the Eagles, but you know what I'm saying? You got to hit those freebies. So first play here, I'm using my base defense. I just put out a video about this base defense. I pretty much run it the entire game. Uh, first play, you know, I, I use the ball the entire first quarter, which is how I typically want to play. Uh, so he gets the ball first play in the second quarter, and I'm stuck on a block. But this defense, like I said, this defense shuts the, the run down by itself. You don't have to do anything. The defense handles that. So then here, I see a new formation. I'm thinking that running back's going to get it. I make a quick adjustment. I put my blitzing safety on a, uh, on a man coverage, and... I I don't know what happened there. I thought for a second that, that I didn't get the ball. And next thing, the EA just glitched on me. Like, I don't even understand that. That was just so infuriating to not get that easy pick six touchdown. That better not be a glitch that continues in this game. If that happened to you, let me know in the comment section so I don't feel like such an ass. Because to be real about it, I feel like the unluckiest person on the planet. I'm hoping that's happening to other people, but I'm hoping that's not at the same time. They need to fix that bottom line. So here, third and three, I call a play that I never call. Uh, and my tight end just gets wide open. I don't know what happened. I guess those crossing routes just totally froze the tight end. I'll take that. We're going up 10 nothing. Uh, so now I'm not, man, I'm having a hard time sniffing out these screens. Luckily, uh, Nigel Bradham sniffs that screen up by himself. I'm still using the, essentially the exact same play throughout this entire d game right now as far as defense goes, and it's just shutting out. So second and 14, I'm coming out. Man, man coverage is really good this year. You got to mix in zones. You can't run straight man. You see I got my defensive end uh, kind of sitting underneath there. But um, this, you know, man coverage is really underrated. Here he's, you know, trying to roll out. Uh, gets a couple of yards before my man gets him. Uh, but obviously, you know, these defensive plays that I'm calling are just shutting out right now. And uh, here we go. We got another pass play. Third and eight. I'm, I'm covering both of those guys right there. He's scrambling out trying to make time. And, uh, you know, luckily he didn't fumble for him anyway. I would have liked it. 
Uh, but, you know, I've, I've had less luck in some of my games where my guy fumbles when he's trying to throw it away. So here he comes out on a weak system. Uh, I'm taking advantage of the weak box. I switched up to a run play. You know, I understand what he's thinking. He's thinking second uh, quarter under two minutes left. I'm probably going to come out and I'm going to have to pass. But you know what? You can run the ball against that formation so easy. You really can't rest on the run game at all in this game anymore. So I'm going to keep running this hurry up. I'm thinking the whole time that Pumphrey's probably going to fumble because he's such a weak player. Uh, he's so small. He's a rookie, so his ratings aren't that high. Uh, but, it, you know, I don't I don't end up fumbling. I actually have to call time out there uh, just so I don't keep uh, running into a brick wall. Uh, this play here is another play that I put out. A lot of the plays you're seeing right now I've already put out this year. When I lab plays, I don't lab them just to make videos out of them. I actually use them. Uh, here he messes up by, by changing that user or changing to a user on that coverage linebacker. He would have been good. Um, that guy had a way better angle on me. He messed that up trying to go after me. So I take off with the quarterback. Uh, the tight end wasn't open the way that I expected him to be. This play right here is typically pretty money. This this tight end shooting off into space. Uh, and I think he has a little bit more success on this play. I'm, I'm running clock. I still have two timeouts um, here. You know, if I could have just got up, I, I definitely had a lane there, but I just kind of run out of bounds. I take the safe play. Uh, now we're running that uh, toss again. I got my man Pumphrey out there a lot faster. Get to the sideline. Stop the clock. That's the plan. You know what I'm saying? You got to know what you're doing there. This play, I think, was one of the first uh, big plays that I ran. I'm going to run it again. It's a really good play. A route's getting open underneath everything, pulling back. I'm just not quite getting that lane to take it. Uh, there, I didn't even get out of bounds. That's why I was playing smart in the previous plays. You got to get out of bounds. You got to save the clock. Uh, I didn't really do it there. So here we go. 36 seconds left. I still got a timeout. So I'm going to try to run it here. He's making a bad angle. That's something that's different. You don't fly as far as you used to when you try to hit stick. Um, it's just not as magnetic as it was in the past. So 30 seconds left. No timeouts. I got faith that I can punch this ball in. I switch over to a quarterback sneak. I've yet to see what the quarterback sneak looks like this year, so I don't know if it's necessarily going to work. Uh, so I'm thinking about changing it, and then next thing, I essentially just go for it. It's like the weakest, like that's the cheesiest animation I've ever seen. He just dives underneath everybody. I really think I'm going to have to come up with a goal line defense for something like that because that was actually a little bit OP. Uh, I don't know uh, what's what's going to be the case with that, but that was actually that looks pretty hard to stop. So he gets the ball, not a lot of time left in the half, down 17 nothing. He's probably thinking about that quit button already. Uh, unless he can get something here, if he can make a play, it's a completely different story. He hits it underneath uh, to uh, Marshawn Lynch. Uh, Marshawn Lynch makes a couple of plays, does get out of bounds though. Guy uses a timeout. That's actually a pretty smart play. The next play he makes, however, is not a smart play. He's going to a Hail Mary. I didn't even notice that was a Hail Mary. I thought that was just like one of those new formations with the three wide receivers out until he's throwing it up anyway. And then I'm thinking, like, that's too early for that. You could have took a couple more dink and dunk plays, got closer, maybe got in a field goal range. But this guy's panicking. He's down big. He knows he doesn't get the ball back after half. So he's making some bad decisions. And this is another bad decision. Rolling out, throwing off his back foot. I mean, my pressure's getting there. This guy's to the point now where he's predictable, where I can open it up and do whatever I want, really. So here we go, last play of the half. He's trying to chuck it up again. Uh, he goes to the one-on-one, -on -one, which is actually a better look, uh, but it doesn't work out. So I get ball second half. Uh, basically with the idea, actually I didn't get the ball second half, I, was, I thought I did get the ball second half. Either way, he gets the ball second half, he's got to make uh, some plays here, he's got to get on the board pretty quick. Uh, I'm not falling for this, uh, you know, I'm not coming out past defense heavy because there's still a lot of time in the game. So I'm coming out my same base defense, this is the first good play he has. Luckily, I mean he's running away from my blitz, so luckily my safety gets over there. I make the tackle, I go for the hit stick because it's Marshawn Lynch. I don't think I could have safe tackled the guy, he probably would have went right through it. But he's doing a pretty good job running, he's not panicking now he's kind of reset his offense uh here i'm covering everybody you can see i'm right where he wants to go he holds on to the ball too long he should have threw it away uh and then the blitz eventually gets to him so uh you got to stay in the pocket in this game I, that's something i noticed your, your blitz your, your blocks holds up a lot better if you stay in the pocket and this guy's doing a lot of scrambling so here uh, i thought that it should have been a user pick uh, it is what it is. I'm not getting a lot of luck on the pick animations. Um, give, I get some luck on the on the hit sticks. The hit sticks seem to work a lot better this year. Uh, so third and 14, really getting predictable now. And I'm hitting him with that same FZ3 Sky Blitz I used last year. Obviously, he's not, uh, you know, the, the guard pulls over. If you watch the slow motion, the guard tries. Uh, but this play obviously is still working to an extent. Uh, you can see here he kind of gets lost in space and then he just blocks nobody. And my favorite blitz is still working. So this guy at that point, you know, he's looking for the quit button. I mean, the game's pretty much over. Uh, about to get the ball back in 4th and 25. I think maybe he wants to take a little more beating, uh, but he doesn't. So that's it. That's the video. Um, if you guys want to see more gameplay, I'm going to do that. Got a lot more to put out. 
And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.